The Sioux Thunderbirds are coming off a successful 2015-16 season, winning their second consecutive Copeland Cup McNamara Trophy, along with finishing third in the Canadian Junior Hockey League rankings. And with Summer Prospects Camp officially underway, this will mark the first time Jordan Smith will have double duty as he will serve as the T-Birds head coach and now the newly named general manager. It's definitely a lot, a lot busier. Uh, there's been a lot of recruiting happening, uh, a, lot of, a lot of training and coaching clinics, and uh, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind the first couple of months, but it's definitely exciting and very enjoyable, and uh, I'm very excited for the upcoming season. Well, yeah, graduating nine players uh, and losing a couple more to, to university, uh, there's definitely a lot of spots open. Um, we've got, obviously, some young hopefuls out here uh, that we'll put through some reps throughout the summer and, and more of a development camp. So we're, uh, we're really anticipating a good turnout at training camp and there are a lot of spots available. So whether it's local kids or kids from out of town, I think that'll be remain to be seen. But uh, nonetheless, we'll spend our summer months uh, trying to make this team competitive again. The T-Birds also have new owners operating the club as they were purchased by the Tech. So far, the Tech have been nothing but supportive. Uh, they want to make sure that the Sioux Thunderbirds continue to be a, a premier development hockey team as well as a successful one in terms of uh, wins and losses, but mostly hoping to move kids on to the next level, whether it, you know, whether it be post-secondary uh, with or without hockey. So everything's been positive so far working with Denny, and it's, uh, it's, I consider myself lucky to be in the position that I'm in. With former assistant coaches Kyle Brick and Jeremy Rebick taking head coaching roles elsewhere, the T-Birds have hired a new but familiar face in Toots Kovacs. Kovacs, who has been named the T-Birds' new associate coach, is no stranger to the organization as he served as the team's head coach from 2004 to 2006 before moving up as an assistant coach of the Hounds from 2006 to 2008. Feels fantastic, Matt. Uh, feels really good to be with Jordan and uh, and Ryan, uh, two players that I coached previously, and it's uh, really uh, a compliment for them to ask me to come back and uh, to coach with them. Uh, and then uh, back with Denny Lambert, I had some uh, work with Denny really closely with the Greyhounds for a few years, and uh, uh, Jordan and Denny have uh, certainly assembled a good crew. And uh, looking forward to the season. During his two seasons from 2004 to 2006 as T-Bird's bench boss, Kovacs also coached T-Bird's assistant coach Ryan Monu, who led the Birds in scoring back-to-back -back seasons. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun working with Ryan. Uh, Ryan was uh, one of the favorite players I've, uh, I've ever coached. Uh, I remember Ryan, uh, when he first uh, came to the Thunderbirds, he came from high school hockey and uh, he kind of broke the mold. Uh, we were uh, the first to take somebody from high school hockey right into junior. And uh, he, was, he, was a, he was a true athlete. He, uh, uh, being a quarterback, he, he, he uh, understood uh, how to be competitive. Uh, he understood the game, any game. And uh, he walked right into our club, uh, had a couple of really good years and uh, went on to uh, play at school and now he's back coaching. So uh, it's great to be back with Ryan. This past March, 17-year-old forward Nick Smith was the first player to commit to the T-Birds for the 2016-17 season. Feels pretty good, like knowing I'm going to a good organization, and like team's going to be good next year. So, hoping to like improve it, and make it better. Smith, who spent last season with the Great North Midget League Sioux Thunderbirds, finished second in team scoring with 37 points through 34 regular season games. I'm going to try to put up points and like try to work on things in my own zone, like get puck out of my end and try to be on for as many goals as possible. Uh, the league, it was all right. Like it was a lot of more bigger players, so like kind of helped like leading into the junior league. But other than that, it was like somewhat slow paced, but like it did help because everyone was big and physical. In other news, Current Hounds forward and T-Birds graduate Boris Kachuk was picked up in the second round, 44th overall by the Tampa Bay Lightning at the 2016 NHL Draft, becoming the first T-Bird alumnus to be drafted by an NHL team since defenseman and former Hounds captain Colin Miller did back in 2012. Oh, we're extremely happy for Boris. Obviously, he put a lot of hard work in, and uh, we would like to think that we had a hand in his development. As a 16-year-old, obviously, Drew 
and the Greyhounds done an excep exceptional job with them. Um, but for, to have an alumni go so high on the NHL draft is, is outstanding for not only our team, but for our league uh, abroad. So it's exciting for Boris and his family, and we couldn't be more proud of them. T-Bird Summer Prospects Camp, which runs throughout July 11th to August 17th, will be instructed under T-Bird's head coach and general manager Jordan Smith, along with fourth-year returning assistant coach Ryan Monu. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Matt Stefano.